This video is brought to you by Cluster Fix. Today we're going to demonstrate the removal of an instrument cluster for a 2008 Chrysler Sebring, similar to 2009 and some of the later year Sebrings. Uh, a lot of the Chrysler vehicles in those years um, have problems with the electroluminescent lighting, so you won't have any backlighting on your cluster to see your gauges at night. And that's one of the services we repair, perform on these is a heavy duty upgrade service and uh, so it'll prevent the uh, illumination from uh, failing again in the future since it was a faulty design uh, from the factory. And it's real easy to remove these clusters. Mainly you're going to want to have like a pry tool, something to get in between the plastic trim parts um, in order to pry them loose. And then like a T20 Torx driver uh, to remove the screws that are holding the uh, cluster in. There's four screws. And this one's already been removed. It's already been repaired. Um, so things are kind of loose fit in here to uh, speed up the video process but with your pry tool or some other suitable pry, uh, device you can first drop your steering wheel down so that's out of the way and you can go over to the uh, panel assembly that covers up your radio navigation unit there's going to be some wires in here but you don't necessarily have to unplug them you can if you want you just at least need to get this pried out of the way so you kind of work your way around slowly and pull this out of the way. That'll allow you to get this trim piece off. And it's just held in by clips. There's no screws. And then on this shroud here, so I got this loose from the uh, dash and it's attached to a cover that covers the top of your steering column. And it's, there's no screws on it either. And you can sometimes just reach behind here and push on it and get it to loosen up like if I go behind the uh, through the opening here I can just unclip it once it starts coming it'll come the rest of the way and like I said this one's a little bit easier because I already had it out and with this out of the way you just pull this and as you can see the shroud just clips in there's no screws just pops right out it's held in by these fasteners here these clip fasteners just fastens into the dash and pushes in there and set that aside and clusters already loose like I said because I have the uh, screws out but there will be four screws T15 Torx screws like this one right there T20 rather not T15 um, so once you pull those out, the cluster is actually loose and you can disconnect the battery per manufacturer's uh, recommendations, but at least have the key off, the keys out of this one. And there's going to be four connectors back here and normally you can just take your finger, it's going to be hard to see, but you'll be able to see once the cluster is out. You, start at, you can start at this end, you'll feel it, hear it snap, just push down and pull. Push down and pull. Sometimes you gotta wiggle. So there's two on each side, two on the left, two on the right. If they're stubborn, just kinda work with it. You might have to use a miniature screwdriver or something at times to get them out if they're stubborn. Just to depress the tab. But you can feel it depressing with your finger. So once all four are out, the cluster comes right out. And like I said, the electroluminescent is what we repair on these most of the time and takes care of that problem. As you can see, the connectors are right here. All the release tabs are on the top. You just push down with your finger on the release tabs to unlock it and get it out of the cluster. So there's four total there. The installation is the reverse order removal. And if you have any questions on the repair, if you'd like to send yours in for repair, you can visit us on our website at clusterfix.com. You can also give us a call at 509-366-9009. If you're on the website, you just click on the repair order form tab at the top of the web page, and you'll be able to enter your make model um, and see all the different Chrysler vehicles that we repair for the electroluminescence. Uh, as well as other models. So um, 
that's the information and thank you very much.